Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Like, I'm going to wait to see if people connect to the video. <laughs> How are y'all? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We slept the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you and you and you and you. So today, hello, Richard. Hello, Rami Ram. Rami Ram. Welcome to Coffee Break with Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura Gonzalez. And today we're going to have the V Tarot. Um, kind of like I'm bringing the interpretation from the one and only Christopher Hughes, who will be on Lunatic Mondays next Monday, talking about the V Tarot. So you cannot miss Lunatic Mondays next Monday. And then the second tarot that we have today is the Gilded Tarot by the one and only Sir Marchetti. And without further ado, hello, Richard. Good morning. Good morning. So how's everybody doing this morning? Wasn't yesterday gorgeous? I don't know about you, uh, Richard, but here in Chicago, it was beautiful. It was a taste of fall. It was in the 70s, very breezy, very beautiful. And I think I went out, like, I was like, I walked the dog. <laughs> you know? like, I volunteered to walk the dog. We split, we split the responsibility of walking the dog. Um... But sometimes we're like, okay, I'll do it, you know, like one extra time. So that was me yesterday. Like, I walked the dog. No worry. I got him. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the Gilded Tarot has for us today. Friday, July 19th. Feels like autumn. Same here. Yesterday it was like a little, we had a little taste yesterday. Okay, let's do this. Sure, come on in, mister. No problem. You want to say hi? And then he left. All right. So, let's see what the Gilded Terror has for us today. May the Divine let us see what we need to see. Bring healing, information, wisdom. To all those watching, watching now or watching later, I don't care. Leave a comment when you when you watch later. Nadja, Nadja guest, and Steve, Steve have joined, and we do have. Lo and behold. The Queen of Wands Reverse. The Queen of Wands Reverse that is talking about being passionate, being impulsive, um, kind of like being a little bit emotionally charged, and our energy being a little bit all over the place. But I think it's all over the place happy. I don't think it's all over the place unhappy you know it's kind of that uh there is a song in spanish <laughs> there is a song in spanish that say me asusta pero me gusta and romy i know you're gonna be laughing falling off the chair me asusta pero me gusta so it, it the, the song talks about you know that feeling of being scared but being excited at the same time and of course it's an innuendo for something else but what i'm trying to say is that that's kind of the feeling with this card right now hello leilani the the queen of wands reverse it's kind of like that you know it's like a joyful but fearful but um excited but weary and 
definitely could be impulsive. So, you know, it could be like we do something and then we're like, <gasps> did I do the right thing? <laughs> you know? And I think that that's where we are with this card. Um, nonetheless, it's a card of power. So let's just be mindful not to push our way through the things that we do this weekend. Let's have joy. Let's have happiness. Let's get a little bit of that adrenaline going. However, comma, let's make sure that we don't start any fires, you know, not to be too, 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 too chaotic out in the world. And I'm telling you, it's, it's a combination with happiness. Um, also, I don't know the weather. Maybe the, maybe the weekend is going to be really hot because um, the card that we have is the card of the sun. I know you don't take tarot cards literally. You do not. But we're in the middle of the summer, the card of the sun. Then we have the queen with all that fire. So chances are I might be talking also about the weather. Hello, Shanice. Shanice Ariel. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. So the, the second card, which is the card of the sun, again, representing the heat of the summer, the heat of the sun, the height of the summer, uh, having a good time, uh, a lot of heat, and uh, but also happiness and joy and kind of like taking advantage of the cycle, right? Because as the year goes through the seasons and cycles, we go with it. We are very disconnected from cycles of nature because capitalism. But the truth of the matter is that this is a time of the year where our energy is supposed to be high because we are influenced by the sun. So when you put them together, I will say, yes, the, the weekend is going to be hot. Interpret that hot in whichever way you want. So it could be hot because we are a little bit explosive because we're a little bit impulsive or it could be hot because the sun is going to be shining bright metaphorically and literally or it could be hot because we have a lot of energy about us and we're going to be doing a lot of things and we're going to be participating in a lot of activities and those end result will bring a lot of joy so either way, hello, dear Rosa Posada. Hope you're feeling good, my friend. Um, you have a lot of heat, so take cycles to cool off. You know, that, that's all I have to say is take cycles to cool off. So that's what the tarot for um, the weekend has. I have a mosquito bite right here on my tattoo, and it's driving me crazy because I want to scratch it. But I don't want to scratch my tattoo because it's a piece of art that you cannot destroy. And it's just driving me crazy. Um, but you're not here for that. Let me tell you a little bit about the things that I will be doing this weekend. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to be at Mindful Baking Cafe from noon till 6. And I'm going to be offering tarot readings, right? Um, right now, Mindful Baking Cafe is the only place where I'm doing tarot readings. And it's the only place where you can get the super discounted Celtic Cross, which normally on a private session, I charge 75 for a Celtic Cross. You go to Mindful, get, get Mindful Baking Cafe and you can get the Celtic Cross for 50 um, this is the only place I'm reading tarot right now in Chicago. Um, other than, of course, you can hire me privately through my Canly. Um, if you're in Chicago, you can come to my place. If you are elsewhere, we can do online. But whereas in me going places and doing readings, which I usually be doing for the last 12 years, Mindful Baking Cafe is the only place that I'm doing readings in person and offering the discounted prices. Yes, Richard says take pictures of their delicious treats. 
I'm telling you, not only, oh, I'm, I forget. And somebody told me the other day, you have to tell people this. Um, yes, I have to tell you this. Everything that Mindful Baking Cafe sells is vegan and gluten-free. So that is very important, a very important piece of information that sometimes I forget to tell you. Um, it's all vegan and it's all gluten-free. And if you get a reading with me, you either get the $20 one, the $30 one, or the $50 one. It doesn't matter. Uh, you get either a cookie or a muffin. Something. <laughs> I, I think there's a cookie or a muffin. I think that's, that's what it is. You think I might know since I repeat it on my newsletter a million times a year. Anyway, please bear with me while I pull out a second card for um, for us. Should I do two? I think I'm going to do two so that we can have four cards for the weekend. And this is, again, the, the um, B Tarot. All right, so let's see what comes up for us today. This one. And watch, they are the same cards. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know which cards are going to be, but there is a possibility. And we have the Ten of Wands reverse and the Nine of Wands right side up. That is very interesting. Because they're both ones. So hear me out. They're still cards of fire. Huh? They're still cards of fire. So we're still in that same vein of the heat. Okay. Ones, ones, ones. There's ones. Okay. Nine of ones reverse. So for you to see the card on a larger picture this is a nine of wands and this is how we got the card we got it right side up so the card is here right but here i mean you can see it if i bring it closer to the camera but that's why i love this book leo season is coming listen stay in your lane okay because uh we're still on cancer season for a couple more days trying to take our thunder okay so um nine of wands right side up and it says you are stronger and more resilient rosa you are stronger and more resilient than you give yourself credit for keep on keeping on there is work to do do not give in or surrender find your inner strength you have been here before you can overcome that is the message and i think i'm surrounded by resilient people thank you goddess you all survivors you and um but i love that you know if it, it fits perfectly to you know who you are but also to all of us who might be struggling with something. And I love the message of keep on keeping on. <laughs> you know, because there is no, I mean, there's no way back. So you are stronger and more resilient than you give yourself credit for. Keep on keeping on. There is work to do. Do not give in or surrender. Find your inner strength. You have been here before. You can overcome so that's the first card the second card is the ten of wands it is reverse however right so we're gonna see what the card means that's the ten of wands that's the ten of wands and we have the card reverse right ah where did I go? I'm there. I'm there. Okay. So the Ten of Wands reverse. Um, 
Yes, Rosa, that's why I mentioned your name because it's like, oh my God, that's for um, Ten of Wands Reverse. The burden that you feel has seeped into your body and your health might be suffering as, cons as consequence. The way that you carry is too much for your shoulders. You must find a way to unburden yourself, delegate or share how you feel with those that you trust and love. It is not a contradiction, it is an addition. Do you feel it like an addition? Because I do. Keep on keeping on, but let go of something if needed. Which is, two weeks ago, we had some similar, like, put something down so you can keep on. Are you all carrying too much? I know I am. I know I keep putting more on my plate than I can chew and swallow. Uh, do as I say, not as I do, my friends. Quite literally, do as I say and not as I do. Don't, don't overburden yourself. Please be gentle with yourself. Maybe Laura will listen one day, but I know you do. The burden that you feel has seeped into your body and your health might be suffering as a consequence. The weight that you carry is too much for your shoulders. You must find a way to unburden yourself. Delegate or share how you feel with those that you trust and love. You know, that's that's the message. Richard says, I'm just waiting. Sometimes the anticipation is too much. I know, my friend. I know, I know. But try to distract yourself and to unburden yourself and, you know, to, um, yeah. To unburden yourself. Hello, Quesada. Anyway, uh, we're going to do an oracle card. Let's see which oracle pops out. Which one is this one? Nah, we got the elemental oracle. And with that, I'm, I want to tell you that um, next week is the Finding the Goddess Within Meditation Workshop at Patch. Next Saturday. And those are getting better and better. People are coming to patch, learning about the goddess, uh, learning about the goddess within, learning about uh, how we can connect through art to the goddess. Come on. There you go. It's getting so hot. Um, connect to the goddess within through art, through meditation, and through uh, creativity. And... Those are beautiful workshops, and they're small workshops, you know, it's not like a 20 hour thing, it's like an hour workshop, but it's really, uh, we get a lot about, out of those, we get a lot out of those meditations, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's happening at Patch. Hello, AJ. I must call you with my mind, AJ, because I'm going to be on Mindful Baking Cafe this Saturday, and um, yeah. So anyway, speaking of patch, meditation with the goddess, goddess art, and if you are in Chicago, come join us. Hello, Victoria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to pull an oracle card for everyone that is watching today, either you're watching now or later, and let's see what the elemental oracle has for us. And we have, what is this? Gravity. The card of gravity. This is the only pool card of today. All, all of the other cards have been hot and fiery. And this is the only pool card. Look at the colors. It's blue. My favorite color. Uh, okay, 39. Speaking of heat, I'm like burning here because I didn't on the fan before I started the video. Wow, this message is like the shortest one ever. It just says, wait, seek ground and perspective. That's it. That's it. That's the message. Seek a grounded perspective. Um, so, I'm going to read a little bit of the description. 
Gravity still remains one of the most studied forces in physics. Gravity is a fantastic element to include in your workings for groundedness. And when you feel unfettered because of trauma or things going too fast. Bra breathing, putting your awareness in your feet and asking gravity to do its thing is a good solid magic. And then the, the message is literally just seek a grounded perspective. And it might have something to do with all this fire and all this movement that we had with both the Gilded Tarot and the B Tarot. That things are going to be kind of like all over the place, moving around a little too much. And gravity is asking us to ground for a minute. And I'm not saying to put ice on the fire, you know, because it, it was bringing us joy. Remember that the first card that we have, it was the sun. And it's all about joyfulness. So it's not like you're going to throw um, an ice cube into this fire or uh, firefighter hose of water. But it's about like, okay, we, we have all this fire going on. Let's breathe for a minute and then let's keep moving. You know, that's what it feels like to me. Victoria says, I would love to go to your women's full moon circles, but I'm not in Chicago. I know. Did you know that I'm doing those circles online? So for Victoria and for anybody else that is not in Chicago and that you want to participate on our goddess circles, the goddess circles happen once a month at the end of the month, usually the last Sunday of the month. And they are good. They are men and women and people. So those are for everyone. And uh, we get together. It's online. But believe me, you, the fulfillment you get from it um, is just the same as if you are elsewhere. Um, hold on one second. So I'm trying to get this link for Victoria. Um, so the next goddess circle is happening on July 28th. The next goddess circle is happening on July 28th. And come on, internet. So here's the link. Why is not letting me do anything? There's the link. Uh, the next goddess circle is July 28th. We get together. Uh, Richard says, please come to the goddess circle. The more the merrier. Women's circles are online too. You didn't know, Rosa. Come on. I thought you knew. See, sometimes I think I repeat things too much. And then it turns out I probably don't repeat things enough. Yes, the goddess circles, the women's circles, happen also online. And I'm going to tell you what it is. It was a women's circle, online and in person, right? And then on the women's circle online, we start having people coming in that were not just women. We had people of all genders come into the online women's circles. So we evolved them. To online goddess circles because goddess is for everyone not just women and so we have a, a co-ed goddess circle that happens every month and you're all invited it's sliding scale so pay what you can um, and yeah they they usually have been oh okay <laughs> Rosa says, I was responding to Victoria and not asking. Um, the online got a circle. We get together. We get together. We check in. Uh, we do a little meditation. We got. We have prompts to talk about things, to talk about the month, etc. And then um, we just share. And the thing about it is that while sharing, we are unburdening ourselves. And... 
we're just holding space for each other. We're witnessing each other. We're validating each other. And then we're not there to fix anybody. We're not there to give advice to anybody. We're not there to, uh, you know, coach anybody into how to go about their day. We're just there to exist together. And they are very healing. They're very fulfilling. I know because I receive a lot of healing from from the circles. Even though I'm facilitating it, it's still, you know, so all I do is give you prompts and then we all think about things and reflect and because we're, we're reflecting out loud, um, it's unfiltered. And of course, there is the utmost confidentiality. You know, we don't talk about what happens on the goddess circle outside of the goddess circle and yeah i hope that you can join us victoria because they happen online where are you victoria um anyway um saturday weekend patio series weekend patio series at um mindful baking cafe and hi daisy daisy carranza and then next week we're gonna have finding the goddess within at patch this is a meditation workshop thing it's not necessarily a goddess circle but it's a meditation thing oh you're close to new york city new jersey northeast new jersey thank you for watching i know it's an hour later over there and uh hello daughter don't call me mama i'm not your mama <laughs> Thank you all for watching and until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.